What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Dead Funny Podcast. I am your host, Chris. Joining me today are my lovely co-hosts, Kelsey and Dylan. What's up, guys? Uh, not much, not much. Uh, just, fuck. Yeah. Just sitting here not doing shit. There you go. I mean... I, I didn't do anything today, so I literally sat in my house all day. I, I washed my dishes and cleaned up a bit. That was about it. There you go. If you're fucking on it, dude, ease, ease. Good for you. Hey, adulting. Yeah, yeah. I worked, unfortunately, but, you know, got a lot of shit I want to do I, for this weekend, so, yeah. I tried to kill myself at the gym yesterday. It didn't work, thank God, but I tried really hard. Well, Don't try to burn 3,000 calories in three hours. Not good. New dead funny recommendation. Nope, nope. It does not get the dead funny stamp of approval, unfortunately. Nope. Bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> well, I got something I think all three of us would somewhat find interesting in case you guys haven't heard about it. But have you guys seen the notification that James Gunn got reinstated to be the director of Guardians of the Galaxy 3? He's back. I did not. Yes. Wonderful. Yep, he is reinstated to be the director of the Guardians of the Galaxy movie three. Woot. Yay, no, they're gonna stay good. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh man. I don't know. It's it's a dicey <clears throat> situation, but it's one that I'm definitely okay with talking about, which is I feel that line between our personal life <clears throat> and how we choose to do what we want to on our own social medias and work are getting way too blurry and I personally don't feel that that's okay. I personally feel like if it's your personal media, you should be able to do whatever you want to do honestly and it really shouldn't affect because that's how it was in the olden days. You didn't know someone was a fucking psychopath but now we just put whatever the fuck we want to on Twitter or whatever. So, Why did he get taken off of the movies or potentially taken off of the movies? Can you remind me? Yes. So before he even directed the first Guardians, before he was even an employee of Disney, 12 years ago, he made a post <coughs> about pedophiles. Now, I don't remember exactly what it was, so I'm paraphrasing here, but it was something of like if they get convicted, they should be put down. I... So, it was something like that. I don't remember the exact okay. tweet. Okay, here we go. James Gunn was fired from the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 volume over offensive tweets. Uh, he was... Let's see here. They actually have the tweet. Um, okay, so he was being he he was being a little bit uh, been a little bit hard. I, I you know what? Honestly, I don't I don't necessarily want to say that because I don't agree with uh, people who fucking dill kids. So I don't necessarily say he was being hard, but he was doing stuff like. Uh, retweet, retweet at somebody. I like it when little boys touch me in silly place. Shh. So maybe that was taken a little too far because that's kind of like taking the justice in his own hands and using his own power. So maybe that I could see possibly being an issue. I don't disagree with his statements, honestly, because I don't. I I think that anything that happens to children that has to do with adults is absolutely disgusting and should be stopped immediately. Um, three men and a baby. They had or yeah, three men and a baby. They had sex with. That was yeah. Another one of those. Um, about to vomit so as I'm stuffed with... I, 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 it's something in eggplant. I'm Louis Anderson, my ass out, just the fat, not the little boys. Yeah. He yeah, he was going off on any pedophile that he knew was a pedophile. So, And Disney did not like that. Oh, boy. That's a lot. Okay, and so they fired him over those tweets yes. that he did way did before, a long, a long time ago, yeah. very long time ago. Well, not that long. Twitter hasn't been out for forever, so. Well, it was before, uh, relative to his career with Disney is what I meant by that. Mm -hmm. I believe at the time he was let go, I think the official date was like 12 years. It had been 12 years since those tweets were made. Yeah, I think he even now, came out and said something as far as uh, – Oh, yeah, something he acknowledged and uh, an apology was posted to Twitter. He said, many people who followed my career know when I started. Uh, I viewed myself as a uh, pro-cater? I don't know. 
Oh, provocator. Jesus Christ, Chris, you can't even fucking read. Making movies and telling jokes <laughs> that were outrageous and taboo, as I have discussed publicly many times, I have developed a person, <laughs> so has my work and my humor. It's not to say I'm better, but I am very, very different than I was a few years ago. Today, I try to root my work in love and connection and less than anger. My days saying something just because it's shocking and trying to get a reaction are over. In the past, I have apologized for the humor of mine that hurt people, and I truly felt sorry and meant every word of my apologies. For the record, I have made... Or when I made shocking jokes and stuff, I wasn't living them out. I know this was a weird statement to make. It seems obvious, but still, here I am saying it. Anyways, that's my complete and honest truth. I used to make a lot of offensive jokes. I don't anymore. I don't blame my past self for this, but I like myself more and feel more like a full human being and creator today. Love you to you all. Yeah. Okay, so basically what he's saying is, hey, I was proud of this when I did it. I'm not proud of it anymore. Right. I'm, I've changed as a person and I would love if we could all remember that in a day and age where we can go back and find anything we want from our pasts. Let's recognize that we also change. Yep. Okay. This is so challenging because I like, have you guys heard about the, um, the right to be forgotten? No. Have you guys heard about that? It's a bill that I think was, um, I think it was England that where basically it was it, it not the exact same thing, not the exact same thing by any means. Um, but it was somebody who'd been convicted of a sexual being a sexual predator and the Internet kept that around forever. So anytime he moved somewhere, his neighborhoods <laughs> found out and he was like, hey, if this was, you know, 300 years ago. I would move and then that past would die with me and I, I have a right to be forgotten and that's not currently present in, you know, in our world today right. and it should be. And so it was basically we want to be able and there was a bunch of people that joined him. Many of them had illustrious pasts or sordid pasts, depending on how you want to say it. And it was a matter of they wanted the ability to get away from what had happened previously. Okay. And whether you agree with that or not kind of depends on where you stand and how vulnerable you are in your own life and how the people how vulnerable the people that you protect are but it's an interesting concept i just don't know that we yet know how to walk it out well yeah, that, that, with recognizing people change over time that's fair i'd agree with that yeah i mean i don't know it's 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 rough uh it's one of those things where when kids are involved it's always going to be a rough situation um oh it's yeah it's very hard to look at that and be able to just shy away from it so, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, whenever I look at him, whether he's just cracking jokes and, you know, the person didn't actually do it, that's fucked up, obviously, and I don't support that whatsoever. But if he's actually talking about actual events that actually did happen and a child was actually hurt, that's a different story. It's hard for me to be like, oh, well, he's being a dick. I mean, he's just making it aware that this person, I mean, once again, I will say this, and I've been very open about this on multiple different platforms. I am not okay with anybody using their internet influence as a weapon. I'm not okay with that at all. Asking people to do something is one thing, but telling them to go do something just because you want to make a statement, I'm not okay with that whatsoever. Like if, for mm -hmm. instance, Article 13 came over and we were like, hey guys, you know, this could really affect us. Please make sure you try to get out there and vote for what you feel is right. And hopefully you support us. But once again, it's your choice that I'm okay with. Something like that is fine because you're asking for help. But whenever you're doing like, hey, this YouTube channel's fucking copying us. Go over there and fucking just talk shit to them and shut them. No, there are proper channels for that to be done, and that is not one of them. I'm not okay with that being used as a weapon whatsoever. That 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 shit gets under my skin. So <coughs> if he was – so that aspect where he's like, hey, everybody retweet so-and-so and tell him he's a pedophile, that – once again, I don't feel bad for the pedophile. What I do feel bad for is the fact that James Gunn was ignorant enough to use his influence as a weapon because that's not fair to his community whatsoever. Because now they're getting caught yeah. up in something that they might not want to actually get caught up in, but they're just doing it just because they got told to do it. And it's somebody they admire. So, mm -hmm. And historically, the court of public opinion is – often wrong, ill-informed and incorrect. Oh, for sure. And so when we, when we <laughs> use political or we use, we use favor that we've garnered through just social interaction that is not based on real relationship. And by that, I simply mean many of the people that follow him are not personal friends of James Gunn. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I think I can safely say that. Therefore, 
he may not know how they feel about things and he may not know the influence he has over them or anybody in a similar situation. I'm not trying to call him out directly. He's just the one we've talked about most recently. Right, right. For sure. For sure. I mean, that, that, that happens to every single one of us. I mean, I follow Bernie on Twitter and I'm not personal friends with Bernie. But whenever he normally mm-hmm. tweets something or fucking's like, hey, go check this out, I usually do it. And that's because he has that influence because I like Bernie. So I, I yeah. completely get where you're coming from. Well, let's just put it this way. Now, if Cloud was a real person and had a Twitter profile, <laughs> he could get me to do anything. That would be uh, – he could get me to do anything. That's my dude. That's my dude. Oh, man. Good stuff. You are such a fanboy. It I kills am. me I every it. time. I love it. I don't think I've said this on camera yet, but I officially started looking for pieces to put together my Cloud Strife cosplay. And goddamn, is it expensive. <laughs> it's like over $500 for the whole outfit together. I was like, well, that's going to take Oof. time. I think the sword Well, alone, if you really loved Cloud, yeah, you'd do it. I also really love the fact that I have you know a house and electricity and internet and a computer. <laughs> So, but do you love that more than cloud? Do you? I mean, without that, I can't have cloud. So it's kind of one of the like the chicken and the egg <laughs> thing, you know? Without one, the other doesn't exist type deal, you know? So. Well, I'm proud to say you are an adult and you will not be manipulated by love. So good for you. I'm proud of you. An, this was a test. You passed. To an <laughs> I was looking at the, the. Well, first off, there was a $500 full steel replica of the fusion sword from the movie. God damn, do I want that very bad. And Kelsey has not seen the movie yet, nor have we done the DFU semester yet, so she doesn't know what the fusion sword is. But just to give you a little bit of nope. an explanation, it is an 11. It's a le- Is it 11? I don't know. It might be 11. It's like, it, it might not. It might be 7. I w- Watch it be fucking 7 just because it's fucking Final Fantasy 7. It's probably 7. So hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because there's, there's two sets of swords that match each other. And then there's the main whole... I think it's six or seven. So let's say six or seven. Let's just go seven because fucking Final Fantasy seven. Don't at me in the comments, all right? Look, I got a lot of shit going on right now. Anyway. No, at him in the comments. In the comments. <laughs> anyway, so seven swords that all clip in to make the one gigantic buster sword. <coughs> so he walks around with like this fucking sword holster on his back that has slots for all these different swords, and he uses them in combat. But as he gets to a point where he starts to like needs to like power up and shit like that, he starts co- like connecting them into bigger a bigger sword and then wins. It's so fucking cool. The fusion sword is so fucking cool. Hmm. Your face is very confused. No, my I'm just trying. It just seems very unfeasible, and I imagine it exists in the suspension of disbelief I mean, realm. If you could see the le- the size of the fucking Buster Blade the dude wields, like trust me, the disbelief is there. Sephiroth's masculine <laughs> alone is like longer than a fucking car. So the disbelief is there. The fact that these guys even swing their weapons <coughs> is a miracle. The fact that they swing it as well as they do and as fast as they do is completely fucking nuncher. It would never happen. I remember being a kid and playing Final Fantasy VII, and my goal was one day I want to be as strong as Cloud so I can have a Buster Blade and use it like that. Now as an adult, I understand why Cloud was so scrawny in the game. And able to use the fucking Buster Blade the way he does. It's called plot. It's called video game <laughs> physics. That's what that's called. It has zero to do with Cloud being strong. He is scrawny as fuck. Cloud is very skinny. Like, very skinny. He should not, in his stature at all, be able to fucking wield the Buster Blade. That should not be a thing. But he does, and he does it very well. Thank you, Cloud. I love you. It's great. It's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm following now. <laughs> Anyways. So, that being said, the Buster Blade cosplay that I found, the actual cosplay sword, not the metal sword that I wanted to get. That was like $500. The cosplay sword, I think, was 90 bucks, And it literally looks like the original Buster Blade cosplay. Uh, and it is so heavy, it's $67 to ship it. $67. Jeez. And it's huge. Like... I mean, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. This thing probably, from the tip touching the ground, is probably taller than I am. How are you gonna cosplay that? Are you just gonna mount it really high on your back? Yeah, you, you, that's where he, that's where he wears it. He wears it high on his back, and it's at a diagonal slant, so that way it's not touching the ground. So. 
yeah but i'm just picturing you like trying to pull this thing and like going over here to like trying to like like I can it just it. it's comical in my head not as comical as what i just did but hilarious nonetheless i can do it i'm, I'm extremely excited i'm extremely excited will will my cosplay ever come to life probably not and if it does it will be a very long time for now because i just don't have 500 dollars that i can just blow on a fucking outfit but the moment i do i will but as of right now, I can't. So it's probably going to be like, I'll buy a couple pieces here, I'll buy a couple pieces there. I think the cheapest thing I had was like the boots were like 60 bucks. But the What's rest, the first piece you're going to buy? I want to buy the Buster Blade first, honestly. I'm not going to lie. I really want to buy the Buster Blade first. And I think the second, yeah. and this is the dumbest part, the second piece that I would buy the most, and it would look absolutely ridiculous on me, is that like, so – all the cosplay suits out there just come as the suits. So it's like the 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 long sleeve shirt, or not the long sleeve, the turtleneck shirt, the fucking the belt satchel thing that he wears, and then the pants. None of them come with boots. None of them come with gloves or anything like that. Or no, no, it does come with gloves. But he wears, and I don't know how to explain it, but it's fucking cool as shit. So he wears this shoulder pad over one arm, and it's got like three bolts sticking out of it well in the game's got three bolts and like the later at, redos of him is four so it's got like four bolts sticking out of it like it literally looks like construction bolts just sticking out of this fucking metal like shoulder pad and then he's got like this arm gauntlet that literally like starts like right below his elbow and then goes all the way down to his wrist and once again it looks like it's something that's like construction made so it's got like these bolts around like the edges and I, it looks so fucking cool kelsey oh my god I would get I, that would be my second. I wouldn't even have anything to wear it with. I would just be wearing it like with a fucking plain T-shirt on and be like, "Yeah, I look cool as shit right now." <laughs> I'm ready to take on Sephiroth. Let's go. <laughs> the only thing I haven't found yet is a good wig. The wig, the one wig that was on Amazon looked like ass. It didn't even look like Cloud's hair. So I gotta find a good wig because Cloud is blonde and he has a lot more hair than I do by choice. I'm not bald. I just wanted to throw it out there. My choice. <laughs> I like the, I like keeping my hair short. I'm not I'm not a big fan of long hair. Uh, not a big fan at all. On me. <laughs> Dylan, if you were gonna <sighs> cosplay somebody, who would it be? Any character, no budget. Who would you co- Who would you cosplay? Ooh. Honestly, probably Nightmare from Soul Calibur. Fair. I am extremely surprised you didn't say Sora, but fair enough. I'm not fit enough to cosplay a 14-year-old kid, and Nightmare is covered in nothing but thick-ass armor, so no one can tell. So. <laughs> fair enough. Now, do you particularly like Nightmare? I've had a so but yeah, he's my favorite character. Okay, cool. But Interesting. So I would be much really cool information cool. right now. Brain is overloading. I know, right? I'm asking him questions, and he's just like, "Yeah, fuck, it's cool. six, God damn it, Duff. Six or speed Uh, yes, I like Nightmare mainly because of his story, uh, his backstory behind him when he was uh, how he got, how he went from Siegfried, and wound up getting the Soul Edge and becoming corrupt, and then becoming Nightmare. Coming corrupt. Cool. Uh, Villain backstory. He's corrupt nightmare. <sighs> well, Siegfried's a good guy, but he becomes a bad guy after he gets corrupt by uh, Soul Edge. Siegfried sucks. I'm not a fan of Siegfried. I hate Siegfried. Siegfried does suck. Does suck. <laughs> All right, there you go. Kelsey. That's why I like the so nightmare. In the Discord, I've given you a picture of Cloud actually holding the Buster Blade. So you can see how big that thing is. That blade is as yeah. wide as his torso. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then hey, Kelsey, what this about you? is a picture of him with all the blades. And then, oh, it becomes shiny. How nice. And then let me see if I actually have a picture of... Because this is actually... This right here is actually the cover of the game so that's like the first time you ever see it now that's what it actually looks like in the game <coughs> i'm trying to see if i actually have a picture of cloud with the newer buster blade but anyways kelsey your audience that cannot see yeah, any of these we're pictures. talking about cloud in the buster blade. yes i know final fantasy 7 <laughs> kelsey cosplay. chris is really in love cosplay um oh if it. budget was not a concern see i think i can do tomb raider 
like without too much effort, like Laura Croft. Okay. Um, and actually, that's who I plan on going to next year's Halloween as is Laura Croft. So oh, I think I drama. could. But if I was going to actually do one that I was really excited about doing, it would probably be Yang. Ah, fair enough. I think I think if I lose more weight, I can pull off. That Yang. is legit that's exactly the exact same picture, the picture I just put in Discord. That he just sent me. It's in the Discord. You can see it too, Dylan. It's literally in the Discord. Uh, bro, if you're talking, oh, okay. Well, then, what, oh, you're just showing it for the fans. Well, if you're talking, you muted yourself. Just throwing it out there. I did mute myself. Okay. I'll, I'll, just, <laughs> I'll just sit there yelling at y'all. Okay. Yes. It's for the fans. Show the fans. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. You've included our fans, and I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sure they do too. <laughs> I mean, anybody who doesn't have these pictures already saved on their computer is just like, not doing that. They're not living life right. That's all there is to it. <coughs> I don't have them saved on my computer. Oh, no, that's because nope, me either. I guess we're not doing life right. Not, yeah, you're not living life nope. right, dude. I don't know what else to tell you. We are not living life. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm clearly doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't about that Final Fantasy. You, you, fuck, yeah, you fucked up. I love that. <laughs> but yeah, my answer would probably be Yang. Fair enough. I think that'd be fun. I think I'd be in good company though. Every time I see any kind of pictures of like <coughs> Comic Cons and stuff like that, there's always just a ton of Yangs uh, out if there. If you fucking go to RTX, you'd be fucking all about it. Yeah, that's all. That's all you yeah. Got there. Fucking ease. I saw some of the images, and there was a lot more guys that were cosplaying as Yang than I expected, which isn't a problem. I was just surprised and delighted to see it. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. And some of them pull it off way better than I would ever be able to. That is so awesome. Yeah. I could, yeah. I could, I could see that. I could see that. It's fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think I would ever cosplay as a female. Not that I necessarily have an issue with it. I just... If I had to put the time and dedication into a cosplay, it would definitely just be cloud. Like, I mean, I, I literally can't think of a single other person I would ever want to fucking cosplay as. Because I'm just like, I would love to <laughs> cosplay as cloud. And then it's like, my life is complete. At that point, you've done everything I've you done need everything to do. I've done everything I can do in this life. I've cosplayed as cloud. <laughs> like, my life is complete. I don't know what else you want that's just uh, start a GoFundMe so that way you can cosplay as Cloud. <laughs> and then that's JK, it. JK, go support one of the medical ones out there. <laughs> and, and then that's it. I, after that, like I'll have to fucking end Dead Funny. I can't do Dead Funny anymore because once again, life is complete. <laughs> that's just it. We're done. Game over. Well, yeah, we need to have goals. Up. Otherwise, why do we continue? <laughs> I'll just spend the rest of my day dressed as Cloud. Like that will just be it. I'll never take the <laughs> outfit off. I'll just dress as Cloud. I might fucking also buy his outfit from the movie as well, so that way I can like alternate, you know? Like today I'm Final Fantasy Seven Cloud. Tomorrow I'm Advent Children Cloud. And then now I'm Final Fantasy Seven Cloud again. Fuck it. I might even go out and get like the Kingdom Hearts shit and then I can be Kingdom Hearts Cloud. And then back to fucking Final Fantasy Seven Cloud. His Kingdom Hearts outfit is oh. so fucking badass, by the way. That's the only ups I'm willing to give Dylan's favorite game. Is that first time Cloud made his appearance. He looked like a goddamn badass. Holy <laughs> shit, did he look cool as fuck. He has like a demon wing and the fucking buster blade has bandages all around it and shit. Like he looks so fucking cool. Oh my god. I am genuinely scared that at the end of the dead funny everything to do with like the semester that has to do with Final Fantasy Seven, that I'm not going to like it and I'm not going to have any desire to like it, and then I'm just gonna have to continue listening to this just with a more information about how much I don't like it. Like I'm really worried. <laughs> Well, I will tell you this. It worries me that you're worried about that. <laughs> don't worry. Uh -huh. it, don't matter, it don't matter if you like it or not. I like Final Fantasy, and I still get tired of hearing them talk about it. <laughs> so I'll just be in better company. Okay. Fucking yeah. rude. <laughs> if we can't be honest with you, Chris, who can? Uh, you just shouldn't be honest. You just tell me, Chris, we fucking love Final Fantasy VII. Hmm. Anyways, <coughs> but Aww, it took me a little while to get there. I'm, but I I'm six. So my give a fuck meter is broken. Fair enough. Fair enough. <sighs> Which is funny because we recorded a duo queue yesterday and he was like, I can't let the fans know I'm sick. Shut up. <laughs> that was... I, I, I could have... It, uh, it was a lot easier because I was only on camera for about five minutes. <laughs> and, that, and you were... Video. 
and you were well enough that you were willing to carry on the nonsense and the the charade but now you're sick enough that you're like forget it not worth the effort uh, yeah it was, i'm trying to i'm trying to do which is crazy <laughs> because goddamn was that episode boring as fuck like all fuck, get yes. out god oh, damn oh my lord that was the longest episode of a video game i've ever <sighs> played where i was like fuck can something happen please so like we were sitting there we were sitting there wishing the bear would come out and eat him that's how boring it was all I have to say <laughs> is, like... is that Life is Strange 2, Chapter 2, <laughs> we're sorry, viewers. We tried. Me and Dylan, we did plenty of stuff that's funny for you guys to laugh at, but as far as gameplay, we tried, man. We didn't make the game. We did not make the game. <laughs> There's only so much you can do. We, we cracked we did jokes. Over. We did funny stuff, but goddamn, man. <laughs> Woo. Mm. Fucking Chris even found a bra in the game. Yeah, oh, yeah. tried to make goes back that, and then, and then there's only so much you can do, man. And it's so long, too. Oh, guys. Fuck. Like, <laughs> me and Dylan kept pushing through, and we're all like, we got to get to content. We've got to get to content some, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Before I knew it, it's an hour <coughs> gone by of just straight gameplay between me and Dylan. I was like, all right, dude, I'm calling it. <laughs> like, <laughs> we tried, bro. We fucking tried, dude. So, I mean, we can't do anything else, man. Fuck. So I mean, we did find out some useful information by going through the phone. That was the most yeah. exciting thing. That was did. the yeah. That was the most exciting thing was reading his text messages to figure out what was going on. Other than that, that was it. That was it. It was a lot. Uh, of, guys, that sounds really oh, rough. It was bad. God. I think I think I would rather have gone back to the Anthem Duo play and have to chase around the uh, teleporting crabs. Yeah. I mean, but. As I said in the in the video, it's made by Square Enix, <coughs> so I've got hope. I've got hope. I think that they're just really trying to hit you with the situation that your character has found himself in really hard, so you understand the consequences before you start making still, decisions I, that can fuck you over. So I still don't... These cops must not be looking for these kids very hard. Cause Dylan, they we talked about this, dude. Bad. They walked for two days. He said, we have got to yeah, be they, far as fuck away from Seattle by now. And they're yeah, they in those goddamn days, woods. Yeah, no, they walked for two days straight on the side of the road, Chris. I don't think they side did the it on the side road. of the road the entire time, Dylan. They probably well, started off in the woods, well, and as they got further away from the city, the game, then they got on the side of the road. No, according, according to, the game, to the small portion of the game that you saw. Yes, yes. Yes, that we saw. It seemed like it was on the road the whole time, so I'm going to go with that. They were literally, they been we were on the road for a total of like 10 minutes of gameplay, and then we were literally underneath that goddamn rock cave for the entirety of the fucking the next 40 50, minutes. 40 minutes that we played. Yeah, <coughs> Down by the goddamn oh, Are you sure you guys just didn't do something horribly wrong? No. Nope. Nope. Oh. <laughs> nope. That did not happen. Nah. No. No. I like how both of you are like, no, we did literally everything we could. Don't you give us that crap. We fucking tried. <laughs> we fucking tried. <laughs> and then, it don't matter what we chose, because eventually something was going to happen to make them run away from the police, which will then put us in that long-ass, boring situation, regardless of what choices we chose beforehand. It's just how the story goes. You're just allowed to decide what reason you have for that coming to play like i got our dad killed and possibly the neighbor kid and the police officer because you're a dick because i wanted to punch the neighbor because he was picking on our little brother because you're a dick right, man. that's my little bro man our dude can fight though that, he can that, fight that's boy. our little bro man <laughs> that's our little bro i only fucking ruined his entire fucking life and everything that he could possibly <laughs> ever have and want but that's our little bro all because I wanted to show that my dick was bigger. Good job, Dylan. Good job. We could have avoided... Your motivation assumption might be slightly off, but okay. We, we could have avoided the confrontation. You chose to be a dick about it. I'm going to go... I want you to play that game and do things differently and tell me if if our, if our father still does it or not. I'm curious. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, Dylan. After that second chapter that we played, I'm really not feeling doing that. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> you only have to do the first chapter. I can tell you right now, it's between that or playing Final Fantasy VII for the unteenth time. I guarantee you Final Fantasy VII is going to win. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just throwing it out there. I would rather go get my dick stomped in 20 straight matches in league right now than go fucking do that. That's all I'm saying. Because goddamn was that boring. Uh -huh. 
It was boring as fuck. It's also rough because you can't skip anything, though, Dylan. You got to think about that, too. Yeah. Like, I already know yeah. what happens up to that decision. So the whole time, I'm like, oh, my God, it's the last mm-hmm. Choco Crisp. Oh, my God, please judge the session. Does your brother get the Choco Crisp? Who drinks the fucking this many bags of Choco Crisp a week? Or does your dad get it? Because I had to slave up for a hot engine for you all day. I don't want to fucking hear that shit. I don't care. I don't care. You're dead, Dad. Get over it. I don't care. Uh... Boom. I have no context. This is just a lot of emotion. <laughs> it's a lot of upset emotion. Don't watch the video. Can. Yeah. Don't oh, watch the first one. The first one's fantastic. If you've not, if you <coughs> want to know what we're talking about, it is Life is Strange, Part Two, Chapter One. Or I think I just named it Life is Strange Part Two. Chapter Two. Yeah. Has not come out yet, and by the time you watch this, still has not come out yet. It probably be the week after that. Maybe I'm not going to guarantee anything, but <laughs> watch it. Long enough to give us a view, and then you can go do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said, me and go. Dylan made certain things funny, so it's worth a watch. But if you get upset because you felt like we didn't do anything, it's not our fault. It's one hundred percent the game's <laughs> fault. We like, did even like we when we take a turn on choices. The choices were either tell him, tell us, tell him about the spider web, or scare him. Play fucking hide and seek with your brother, or not play hide and seek. Do this or do that. Like I, I, I don't care anymore. I'm sorry. Fucking let him pee out in the woods or pee in the in the nasty outhouse. Yep. Sword fight cool. with him. Either sword fight on his team or be the oppo- the opponent. Chris chose to be the opponent. That bitch. And he got pissed at us because you know our brother's little spoiled brat. Literally walk up, what? see the kid playing with a fucking stick, and was like, ha, you can never fucking take my sword down fighting a tree. And Dylan goes, oh, you should pick one up and spar with him. So I literally pick it up and say, be his opponent, and then the kid gets mad because we're too big and we'll pick on him. So he puts the stick down, and Dylan goes, man, wow, Chris. Wow. And I'm like, <laughs> bitch, you told me to! <laughs> that's nope, one he's of throwing the- you right under the bus. <laughs> that's, one of the, that's one of the funny things we tried to do to lighten up the situation. Because it was just so long ago. <laughs> it was rough. It was, uh, uh. It was, it was, it was definitely rough. <laughs> and Dylan oh. is dying. Dylan is dying. Everybody feel sad for Dylan. Don't, don't. Dylan, live. Don't, don't feel sad for me. I, I'm not deep your pity. I don't feel sad for Dylan, so you guys definitely should not feel sad for Dylan. Dylan sucks. Ease. Dylan does not suck. Dylan's nice. But we are going to go ahead and wrap up this podcast so that way Thank Dylan you, can get some fucking sleep and quit his crying and complaining. So if you guys enjoyed what? this episode of the podcast, make sure you like and subscribe. Also turn on those notifications so that way you can get notified every time we upload a new video. On top of that, hit us in the comments and let us know. How excited you are to see me fully cosplay as Cloud, because I know I am. And everybody else Ooh. obviously has to be. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, or send us pictures of you cosplayed as Cloud. Don't do that, because I'll be jealous. I'll instantly delete them and forget them that they ever happened. Don't do it. No. Not yet. Oh, I gotta, I gotta find the person I'm following on TikTok and send, and send that video to you. You're gonna be so pissed. I am so tired of hearing about you and TikTok, dude. You're gonna they be, do but Final you're gonna be like the fucking 70-year-old guy that goes out to the fucking bars to try to pick up like fucking 20-year-old chicks, dude. You've got issues, man. It's nothing but like teenagers on TikTok, Dylan. Do something that's like fucking grown up all right actually i don't want to know i don't want to know i, I like know. living actually, in my goddamn ignorant <laughs> bliss all right i, I don't want to know i'm following i'm following over a thousand people you and are a loser them, and 90 percent of them are over 18 and tiktok is actually what, making Dylan. it illegal or not illegal making it to where anyone under the age of 13 cannot even have a tiktok account. well dylan Which, believe me or not but the age of consent is above 13 <laughs> Just to let that out there, it's around the age of 18, so the whole 14, 15, 16, 17 aspect there is still an issue. That's all I'm saying. I just won't follow them. That's fine, and you are doing a very good job and a very awesome thing about doing that. I'm just throwing that out there. Anyways, I tell you what. You want me to have respect for you and your fucking TikTok? You come here to wisconsin and we'll go hit some clubs and the moment you can pull a chick by walking up and saying hey i'm on tiktok i'll fucking i follow you blindly dude 
I'll follow you blindly. The moment I, that's I've all you could say. That's I've all you could say. You just walk up and be like, "Hey, I've got a TikTok account." That's it. Jeez. Okay, hang on. No, let's reverse this. Do you think you could pull, pull a chick in a bar by walking up and being like, "I play Final Fantasy VII constantly"? Yeah, easily. Easily. I wouldn't. I wouldn't wear it that way, but easily. I, I bet. I bet I could easily. You tried, Kelsey. <laughs> Just right here. This I right here. I did a chick in a bar. Neither of those lines would the work on world, I did this exactly world, how I word it. I'd be like, have you ever make seen? Believe, the word of make-believe and things that do not happen do not exist in Chris' world. In his world, anything can happen as long as it comes out of his Easily, mouth. easily. All you do is just walk up and be like, uh, have you uh, ever seen Cloud Strife or Final Fantasy <laughs> 7? And if they say yes, then bam, I'm in the Boom. door. Instantly. Oh, but God. If they, they say already, no, they if they say no, I have a picture of him on my phone, so I pull it out, and I'd be like, you see that buster blade? Mine's bigger. So what you're saying is you actually need multiple lines. You don't. You can't just start with one line. Okay. I don't no. think Kelsey understood what you just no, said. No, I really, I got the dick here. <laughs> I just like you that I now. so hard he's dying. I just, I just like the fact that I now have a sound bite of Kelsey saying, I got the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I hate you. It's great. It's fantastic. <laughs> Love it. That's literally going to be the name of this episode. I got the dick. I got the dick. Don't you dare. <laughs> I'll even I'll even do it like a fucking email where at the bottom it's got the dash that says Kelsey next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh man. That was oh crazy. god. That was great. Anyways. Anyways. Don't forget to like and subscribe, people. Yeah, yeah. There's that. Also. Direct form of communication, Twitters. Come watch us play some video games, hang out, have a good time. Twitches, they're also down there. But if you know this, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and we will see you next time.